Hello friends, welcome to LMSSilly.com. In today's episode, I am going to show you about the new editor coming in Moodle 4.2 as the default, which is the tiny MCE editor. In recent versions, Moodle HQ team has decided to move away from the Eto text editor as it is not a full-fledged. In recent um, in recent Moodle versions, the Moodle HQ team has decided to move away from the Eto text editor, which was the default text editor from last 10 years or around. Now the Moodle HQ team has decided to go with the tiny MCE editor, which is the rich text editor available for many other softwares. So in Moodle 4.2 version, this will be made as the default text editor. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the tiny MCE editor and what are the options available. So as you can see, I'm logged into the Moodle as a teacher and let me just go to my preferences page here and on this editor preferences link, just click on this one and here by default it is the default editor which is chosen but I can choose the different editor as my preferred editor. So let me choose this tiny MCE as my preferred one and click the save changes. So now let me go to any page where you can see the text editor and it will show the tiny mc editor and we will discuss the option about the tiny mc editor on that same page. So let me click on this edit profile link here and let me scroll down here okay yes in the description field you can see the text editor is now showing as a tiny mc as you can see there is a logo of the tiny mc editor on the bottom and if you are using the auto text editor for quite some time then the options might seem to be a bit changed and let me show you what are the options now. So there are some tabs on the top which are essentially any word processor editor or similar to that. So under the edit tab you can see that there are options for undo, redo, cut, copy, paste or paste as text select all and then find and replace. So this is more or less uh, known to everyone so I will not take much time to explain all these options. Under the view tab you can click on this link to view the source code. So it will be showing you the HTML code for this text here like this. And then you can click this to get the visual aids and if you want to move to the full screen mode you can just Click this icon. Under the insert tab, you can see the options to insert the image and multimedia and then you can also directly record the audio as well as the video within the editor window right now. And then here is a link for the code sample. You can also add special characters, emojis, horizontal lines, anchors as well as you can add the equation, uh, you can use the equation editor also. Under the format tab, you can get the tools for formatting the text like the bold, italic, underline, strike through and all those things. You can also get the options to define the text as paragraph or heading as well as to align left or right. And you can also define the line height. You can, in, under the tool tab, you can see the source code as well as you will have a option for the accessibility checking. So if I will click on this button, then it will show me the accessibility issues in the text below. And then in the media manager, you will see all the media attached to this text field. So this help is to get any help. If you see that uh, there is a only one row of the buttons on this tiny MC editor, but once you click on these three dots, then it will expand the second row of the buttons also. So the site admin can uh, configure these buttons and the options available here but more or less you will generally see these same options. So as you can see the first two buttons are undo and redo and then the next two buttons are bold and italic. 
afterwards you will get an option for the image the multimedia recording the audio recording the video alignment of text and then in the next row you will get the option for left to right or right to left decrease the intent or increase the intent bulleted list or the number list and then you will get an option for the question editor so so this is how uh, the tiny mc editor works in moodle and it will be the default text editor in the upcoming moodle versions so thank you very much for watching this video if you have not yet subscribed to our youtube channel please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon to get the latest updates about all the videos related to moodle thank you very much for watching